Hello, welcome to the Jones Zone. Um, moving away from the Blu-ray side of things for a little bit, I want to talk again about Dog 2 and about an episode that I've touched upon briefly before. Uh, and we're going to go into a little bit more detail. But before we do, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe. It helps the channel out in a big way. Now let's get on to it. So, as uh, you you may or may not know, recently there's been a lot of uh, Doctor Who tweet alongs where everyone watches an episode of Doctor Who at the same time and we all tweet along and there's a hashtag and it's it's been great. It's been a lot of fun. Um, and on today, Wednesday the 6th of May, It, it is officially the 14th anniversary of what I think is the best episode of Doctor Who of all, of all time. And it's my favourite episode of Doctor Who of all time, which is the 2006 episode, The Girl in the Fireplace, from Series 2, written by Stephen Moffat. Um, it's David Tennant's fourth adventure in his first series, but his fifth adventure uh, overall. Um and I cannot believe it's 14 years old. Uh, the Girl in the Fireplace is an absolutely outstanding episode of Doctor Who. From start to finish, everything about it, the set design, the monster design. And that's the thing, not even a returning monster. It's a completely new monster. This is one of those Stephen Moffat forgotten gems. Because um, he obviously had the, the Doctor Dances and the Empty Child, bef the series before. Series three, he had he introduced the Weeping Angels. Series four, he did Vashti and Arada. You know, he had the the making you scared of things that were normal. And it, I mean, in the Girl in the Fireplace, he makes you scared of the sound of a ticking clock because you don't know if it's a, a ticking clock or if it's a robot monster that's trying to cut you up for parts. It's brilliant, um, and I just. Everyone should watch it. Everyone should get involved in this tweet along tonight. Um, I think the hashtag is hashtag clock down, I think. Uh, yeah, the hashtag is clock down. Um, everyone should do it. Everyone should get involved in this tweet along because this is such a good episode. Um, brilliant cast, brilliant set and costume design, brilliant monsters. The score, do not even get me started on the score, is the best single episode score that Murray Gold has ever produced. It's such a good score and it's excellently written. It's one of those, it is a Stephen Moffat hidden gem and he tried to bring the clockwork droids back with uh, Peter Capaldi's first episode. But I don't think it had the same effect as it did the first time round. This episode... It's a pinnacle episode. And tweeting along as well uh, will be Sophia Miles, who plays, uh, Mad who, well, who played Madame de Pompadour in um, the episode. And Stephen Moffat, the writer, the man himself, uh, will also be tweeting along. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'll be tweeting along uh, under the Movie Chats podcast Twitter account, which is um, at the Movie Chat pod with a capital TMCP. Um, so get involved. Let's all tweet along. It's starting in an hour um, if, I, if I'm posting this at my usual time. But I might post this episode earlier, actually, just to try and get more, gauge, more engagement for this uh, episode. So thanks for watching. Um, I hope you like this video. Uh, I hope to be tweeting along with you all soon. Um, and as always, like, comment and subscribe. Uh, it really helps out the channel. And as always, in the description, there's links to the DC63 Productions Facebook and Patreon. Any way you can support and help us, it just it means a lot to us. So in any way you can, whether it's you know through Patreon, whether it's through liking the Facebook, whether it's through subscribing, whether it's through liking videos, commenting, any active engagement and support really helps us to keep the channel going. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.